Hey guys, we continue to review Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. This is first video about this smartphone on our channel. In this one, we want to talk about camera, but the next will be battery test. In description, you can find links to other videos and where to buy Asus phone. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers. Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 has a dual rear camera with 16 megapixel main sensor and f2.0 aperture. The secondary sensor on the back is 5 megapixels. The selfies are taken on 8 megapixel front camera. If we talk about camera app of Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1, it differs from stock Android. As usual, there is shutter button and change to the video on the bottom. On the top, you can see the most used modes. If you click on Auto, you can choose HDR, Portrait, Landscape, Sports, and other modes. The photo settings menu provides following options – flash, GPS location, picture size and quality, face detection, etc. As for the video settings, there is flash, video quality and duration, GPS location and others. By the way, Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 shoots video in 4K DCI, 4K UHD, 1080p and lower resolution. Now let's look at real sample photos. It's a pity, but Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 doesn't have AI scene recognition like new Xiaomi smartphones. However, the images in DTM are very good. The colors look great, and in general, photos have good contrast and accurate white balance. resolution of 4096 by 2160 pixels. However, the phone doesn't have image stabilization in 4K, so it is better to record in 1080p. There is electronic image stabilization in Full HD. So we can see that Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 has good cameras. 
Yeah, it lacks AI scene recognition and it is a big disadvantage because most modern devices have this function. However, Asus phone is able to make good photos in data and shoot video in 4K or 1080p with EIS. Thanks for watching. The link to original photos and videos are in the description. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.